All right, so in this video here, we're going to be solving multi-step inequalities, and this is when we have more than two operations that we need to undo. So we'll be looking at things like this to where we're taking a, a words or some sort of story and then writing an inequality from that and then solving from there. So let's just get right into it. Here we go. So we have four times a number plus 12 is less than the number minus three. So here we go. Four times a number. How do we write that? Well, we're going to use the variable n for the number. So four times the number would be 4n. And next up, now we have plus. Well, plus, that's pretty simple. We got that one. Uh, 12, we know how to write that one as well. So basically on these ones, don't freak out. I mean, especially if they're straightforward like this, just read and write. Now, if you got like a big story problem, you might have to boil it down so it looks like this, at least in your brain, and then you can write an inequality or equation from there. So here we go, moving on, is less than. Well, that's gonna be the, the symbol where the alligator's eating to the right and then uh, less than the number minus three. So a number minus three is that number and then minus three. So there's our inequality there. Clean it up a little bit, write them a little bit closer together. So now it looks like this here. Next up, we're gonna solve. So for solving this one here, we do notice that we have variables on both sides of the inequality. Again, we're going to treat this inequality just like it was an equal sign, except when we multiply or divide by a negative number. So we want the variables on one side or the other. So in this case here, we're going to subtract the smallest coefficient. So this is 4 and this is a 1. So we're going to subtract the smallest of the two. That's the general rule of thumb. There's other ways of thinking about it as well. But anyhow, here we go. So uh, so on this left side, 4n minus n, that's going to make 3n's. We got the plus 12 is less than. n minus n is no more n's, just the minus or negative 3 there. Now we have it down to a two-step inequality there. Uh, we're just going to subtract 12 and divide by 3. And here we go. So subtract 12, that's going to give us 3n, and no more numbers after that is less than negative 3 minus 12. Pay $3 and pay $12. You're going to have to pay a total of $15. Next up, divide by, this is going to be a positive 3 that we're dividing by. So we have 3 over 3 makes 1n written right there. And then is less than, negative divided by positive is negative, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now for our number line, we want to have zero on there and then any other important number, in this case, negative five. It's strictly less than, so negative five is not a solution, so it gets an open circle. And then for less than, we're looking at numbers smaller than negative five, those are gonna be the ones to the left. All right, let's go ahead and have you try this one. Pause the video, try it out, and then come on back. So here we're writing an equation for six times a number is greater than four times the number minus two. So here we go. It's going to be one of these two here. Six times the number is greater than four times the number minus two. So a couple of different ways about going about doing this. So the correct answer is A. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and solve this straight up, you totally can. So we would subtract the 4n to both sides, so that would make a 2n on the left equals negative two, and then divide two to both sides then you'd have an n is greater than negative one, so which is this one here. Now this is a multiple choice question, so in math, many multiple choice questions, you, you can kind of take some shortcuts with these by looking at the answers. So if we look at all four of the inequalities here, well these two match. So we have a pretty good chance that it's gonna be one of these two, and it's pretty easy to double check by going back. Now look at the solutions there. It's either going to be a greater than or a less than negative one. So you don't actually have to solve either of these. You could just try a number. So like in this case here, if we wanted to see if it was a, we could just pick a number that's bigger than negative one. So like, like zero, and then just test it out here and here. So zero greater than zero minus two is negative two, zero greater than negative two. Yep, that's true. So the answer is a. So just want to put it out there that when you have these multiple choice type questions, it is okay to look at the answers and kind of work backwards a little bit and use your brain. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one out and come on back. So here we go. We're going to solve this big old long thing here. So 
this left hand side is kind of a mess so we are going to clean that up first so when we say clean up we do mean simplify so we have a distributive property that we can do here so three times two makes six and then three times negative c makes negative three c still a little messy so more simplifying more cleaning up we're going to add like terms or combine like terms we have uh, c terms here we got six c's minus three c's subtract that and you get three c's there now we have an inequality both sides are all simplified and we do have variables on both sides so we want to move variables to one side or the other the rule of thumb is that you're going to move over in air quotes the smaller of the two so that would be this negative 2c we would undo that by adding 2c to both sides so 3c's plus the 2c's makes 5c's plus 6 is greater than or equal to 2c's plus 2c's no more c's just the one there now we have the two step we're just going to go ahead and subtract 6 and divide by 5 so there's the subtract 6 step six minus uh, subtracted from the one makes negative five and divide by a positive five to undo this five being multiplied to the c there and so we have c is greater than or equal to negative one now when we go to our graph we want zero and any other important numbers in this case negative one it's or equal to so that means that we're going to get a closed circle because negative one is a solution and then c is greater than means we're looking for numbers that are bigger than negative one and those numbers are going to be to the right all right so this one here it's a big old mess so we're going to start with a distributive property here we go negative seven times s negative seven s negative seven times four negative 28 and that's all the distributing on this side now we're going to work on the right hand side negative two times two s negative four s negative two times one negative two there now we can do adding like terms so we have some s terms here that we can add up and same thing over here so subtract seven s's from 11 s's we have four s's on the left side and then eight s's minus four s's four s's there we have s's on both sides of the equal sign we want them on one or the other so we're going to subtract four s's from both sides and looky what we have here four s's minus four s's is no more s's just a negative 28 and then four s's minus four s's just the negative two there so what does this mean well it says negative 28 is greater than negative 2 well that's false negative 28 is not greater than negative 20 negative 2. so you, again think temperature 28 degrees below zero is way colder than two degrees below zero i guess they're both way cold but either way so in this case here this makes a false statement so that means we're going to have no solutions to this inequality up here now just because these numbers are different now if it's an equal sign and the numbers are different then it means no solutions if they're the same on an equal sign it means they are solutions but that's not the case with the inequalities so look at this one over here if we had this going on this would not be no solutions this is actually infinite solutions because it doesn't make a true statement that that's what you're asking not are they the same or different doesn't make a true statement so here we go negative 28 is less than or equal to negative 2 that's actually true so if you end up with something like this false statement then no solutions if you end up with something like this that's always true in real numbers so that's going to be infinite number of solutions all right pause the video try this one out see how you did and come on back so here we go so this one does have a couple of different ways of doing it so if you notice the 4x and the 7 are being divided by negative 2 so we could start out by doing that division or simplifying so 4x divided by negative 2 is negative 2x 7 divided by negative 2 makes up minus 7 halves because the 2 doesn't divide in evenly so if we did that step first we would end up having to deal with fractions so but if we notice here check this out the whole left hand side is being divided by negative 2 so we could start out by undoing that first by multiplying by negative 2 to both sides so here we have a times negative 2 divided by negative 2 negative 2 over negative 2 is just 1 times 4x plus 7 no more fraction there now we are multiplying by a negative so we do need to remember to switch the direction of the inequality there and then we have a negative 3 times that negative 2 makes a positive 6. so again when you have a, an entire side of your inequality or equal sign being divided by a number start by undoing that division by multiplying 
now we're just left with a regular old two-step equation. So in order to go from 4x plus 7 to just x, we need to undo the plus 7 and undo the times 4. So we'll do a minus 7, so 6 minus 7 is negative 1, and then do the divide by 4, makes negative 1 over 4. So remember, when we're solving these inequalities, we're going to treat them just like an equal sign. Any of the strategies that we that worked with equations also will work with these inequalities, except when we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number.